गेट 2022 मेटलर्जिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन 62 एयर एट 300 केल्विन इज पास्ड एट अ मास फ्लो रेट ऑफ 1.5 केजी पर सेकंड थ्रू अ मेटालिक ट्यूब ऑफ इनर डायमीटर 0.08 मीटर द इनर वॉल टेंपरेचर ऑफ द ट्यूब इज मेंटेन्ड एट 700 केल्विन द टेंपरेचर ऑफ एयर लीविंग द ट्यूब इज 600 केल्विन assuming that heat transfer occurs entirely by a steady state convection i must highlight this the length of tube needs to be determined what is given is the coefficient of convective heat transfer rate from tube wall to the air is 500 watt per meter square kelvin we can assume heat capacity of air to be constant and equal to 1080 जूल पर केजी केल्विन एंड पाई इज 3.14. नाउ व्हाट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इज दैट एयर इज फ्लोइंग इनसाइड दिस ट्यूब एट अ टेंपरेचर ऑफ 300 केल्विन दैट इज द इनलेट टेंपरेचर ऑफ एयर द वॉल ऑफ दिस ट्यूब इज मेंटेन्ड एट 700 केल्विन दैट इज wall is maintained at 700 kelvin the air leaves the tube at 600 kelvin this is t inlet this is t outlet fine and the mass flow rate of air is given to be 1.5 kg per second now the heat is transferring from the tube wall to the air by the mode of convection okay where the value of h is given to be 500 watt per meter square kelvin okay there are certain assumptions that we need to make in this problem the first assumption is it is a steady flow by steady flow i mean the mass flow rate does not change second is the air property like temperature velocity it remains constant at inlet and outlet next is the kinetic and potential energy changes are negligible last but not the least there is no heat loss to the surrounding okay that means the all the heat transfer is occurring between the pipe and the gas only fine with these assumptions i will write down the energy balance equation okay because we have to conserve energy energy conservation principle shall be followed whatever heat that is given by the tube is passed on to the air okay so and it is passed on by the mode of convection heat is passed on to the air and it is equal to and this heat that is picked up by the air is going to rise its internal energy by this equation mcp dt by d tau where tau is the time okay this represent the heat transfer into the air during time d tau okay and due to this heat transfer this is the rise in internal energy of air during time d tau fine so that will be the governing equation you can further simplify this equation i can write H A into D tau is nothing but M C P D T by D tau like this. Okay. Now I can integrate within the limits. Now what are the limits? At time t equal to at time t equal to zero. That is initially 
the temperature is inlet temperature of air 300 kelvin and at time tau equal to t the temperature of air after time t seconds the temperature of air is t out that is 600 kelvin okay so within these limits i am going to integrate this equation i am going to integrate this equation within these limits t initial temperature out temperature in inlet from 0 to time t since coefficient of convective heat transfer and the area are constant so they can be kept outside the integral likewise the mass flow rate of air and specific heat of air are not changing with temperature hence they can also be taken outside the integral now upon further simplification uh, please uh, read it as yeah so upon further simplification we can see area it is pi d l that is the uh, surface area of the cylinder cylindrical tube okay so h a is pi d l integral of d to from 0 to time t should be equal to m c p integral of d t upon t wall minus t from t i to t zero okay that is the governing equation now we can solve it integrally pi dl t minus zero the integration of d tau is tau minus zero uh, apply the limits so it will become like this m c p what is the integration of uh, T, uh, T wall minus T, it will be natural log of T ambient minus T with the limits of T i to T zero. Since here it is T wall minus T, so since there is it is negative T, so its integration will have a negative sign also. Now putting the limits we will get h by dl time t we can take time on the other side we will get now mass upon time represents the mass flow rate since we are required to find the length of the tube, so we can keep length on the left hand side and all other variables on the right hand side. Minus mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is given to be 1.5 kg per second. Cp is given to be 1080 joule per kg Kelvin divided by H the value of h is given to be 500 pi is 3.14 diameter is given to be 0 0.08 meter into natural log of the temperatures so this is nothing but 100 and this is nothing but 400 okay so it is ln so it, it will be ln 1 by 4. So upon solving this, we will get length of the tube to be plus 17.88 meter. Since natural log of 0 0.25 will be negative, will be a negative term, negative into negative will be positive. So L comes out to be 17.88 meter. If you want to understand this concept, 
in more detail kindly refer lecture 26 heat and mass transfer by professor s p sukhatme and professor u n gaitonde department of mechanical engineering iit bombay Thank you.